Okay, now we are in the file manager script and we can see the two methods we saw in the UI manager script that we were calling. Save texture flag to file and access coroutine callbatch file. The save texture flag to file method takes the string argument called p texture name that indicates the flavor that the flavor extract bottle's label should be changed to in the AR app. For example, vanilla, almond, etc. The text stored in the p texture name variable will guide the selection of the correct texture to apply to the label of the 3D model of the flavor extract bottle in the editor script of the Unity project that is called by the batch script. As you can see, we are using the file class from the file.io namespace to check if a text file named texture.txt exists on the hard drive. The complete path of this text file is stored in the texture flag path string variable in the game manager script. We update the contents of the texture.txt file with the value of the p texture name string variable argument. Side note, most of the code in this script has not been revised. Upon reviewing the code again during this tutorial, I saw that there are a number of optimizations that could be made as well as using more appropriate variable names in some places. If you have any questions or points to make, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. But again, please keep in mind my goal was not to write production ready code, but to write this code to convey the main concepts needed to accomplish the full automation of this process. The access coroutine call batch file method calls the call batch file coroutine, which in turn calls the rebuild addressable prefab and group via batch file call after a slight delay. This delay is done to ensure the texture.txt file has been updated before the batch file calls the editor script in the other Unity project that will be trying to access the texture.txt file. Finally, rebuild addressable prefab and group via batch file call calls the actual batch file on the hard drive. The complete path of this batch file is stored in the batch file path string variable in Game Manager. Let's take a look at the batch file now. Again, a note about all paths shown in this tutorial. Obviously, you will need to modify the paths shown according to your file system. The two main areas where path changes are needed will be the game manager script, which we will look at next, and this batch file. If you are not familiar with batch files, please do a YouTube search to bring yourself up to speed. Essentially, they allow you to automate OS commands that you would manually type in through the Windows command prompt. Let's look at line by line at what this batch file is doing. Line one shows C colon, which ensures that we are in the C drive. Line two changes the directory so that we are in the path of the Unity editor that was used to build both parts of this project. Line three runs the version of Unity found in the path in line two. It is run in batch mode so that the project designated by the project path flag is used to open an editor script found in this project that runs a method called perform build. Perform build automates all the prefab and addressable rebuilding necessary. We will look at this later in the tutorial. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next part of this tutorial becomes available.